how's that gone from the off season to now almost a week before the first game? Yeah, all three of us have had to step up uh, leadership wise. Um, we just take responsibility on the court just to lead the underclassmen, especially because we have nine underclassmen this year. Um, so it's just, it's been a different for sure because uh, we don't have Al or Mel or Sarah to lead us. Um, but Miss Mary's a great senior leader, and me and Chelsea have stepped up even more. So we just take pride in uh, helping the underclassmen. As, like, if they ask questions or anything, we're always there to be under their wing and help them out in any way possible. Is it more of a role that you enjoy too? I mean, stepping up and being someone that is looked at and say, hey, this is the way that we go with this team? Yeah, I've always wanted to be a leader. And I, I think the uh, being a leader, it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, if you're a freshman or senior, you can lead in any way possible. And so I've definitely stepped up in that role and just tried my best to help my teammates in any way possible. Yeah, uh, it's different for sure. Uh, but I mean, I, if whatever position my coach puts me in, I'm willing to play as long as I'm out on the court and helping my teammates in any way possible. So it's just, it's going to be a very big learning experience. I learned that in my first scrimmage, like it's different guarding a post player for sure. Uh, you got to be a lot more stronger and more physical, but I'm, I'm willing to step up and take that responsibility. Yeah, um, I like challenges, so I'm just going to do whatever it takes to stop the, my opponent and just not let them get the ball and score on me. So. What's the big difference between the, the adjustment from the past? Um, definitely uh, last year just running girls off the perimeter and not letting them get the ball at all. And um, now the girls are inside, so I have to get in front of them and like be a lot more physical, like I said. And it. There's a lot, a lot of girls that are bigger and stronger than me, but I'm just going to try to use my aggressive uh, role and just try to do whatever it takes to not, them, let, not let them get the ball. From a production standpoint, how important is it for you three, you, Chelsea and Mary, to kind of hit the ground running early and fill that void from a points-wise? I mean, obviously, three of you aren't going to score 40 <laughs> a night, but I mean, you know, how important is it just to get those, those, the, the ball in the bucket there to you know, relieve some of that stress from some of the younger girls? And, yeah, Coach Barnes is definitely um, relying on us three to put up some numbers here and there. And I think that at least one of us can do that each night. It doesn't matter who, who scores 20 a night or whatever, as long as we are producing points and getting the job done and getting the wins. How exciting has this offseason been with a lot of new faces, a lot of new talent coming into the program? And again, like the depth of here this year is a lot more than what it has been the last couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. We have a lot more people on our team this year, so the chemistry is like getting better and better each day, and we're always hanging out on and off the court and just goofing around and having fun. And uh, I think just having more people this year will help with just like numbers and like getting people off the bench to get more minutes. And uh, they're young, but they're all willing to work and learn, and uh, I think we're going to be very competitive this year. Mm -hmm. like that, just to get all the flow, keep the things fresher, and maybe be able to put a little bit, put a little bit more pressure on the ball, too. Yeah, I think that'll be good for our team because we're, our legs are going to be so much more fresher, too, because we're playing two nights a week and only maybe one or two ni two days uh, in between the games. So we're going to have fresh legs, and we're going to have people to come off come off the bench and produce just as much as our starters do. So it, it, it's going to be good for us. You know how competitive the conference is. How exciting is it to, to get another opportunity at that? And, and Mm -hmm. um, being ranked number four definitely uh, puts fuel to our fire, and we just want to prove to the, to the conference that we can be even better than that and uh, make it to Indiana and make it to that championship uh, Horizon League game. So we're working every single day to improve and get to that level. But uh, we're not there yet, but we're definitely improving each and every day, and I, I believe that we can get there. How important is that home record, too? I mean, it was pretty darn good last year, and to kind of make this a fortress and make it really tough for these teams, especially in the conference league when you had Green Bay, I make sure it's worth the while and, and take care of business. Again. Yeah, I think you can ask, if you ask any Horizon League team, I think playing at Youngstown is probably one of the toughest places to play because our fan base is absolutely amazing. We have so many alumni and people that come out from uh, the Youngstown community to support us each and every day, each and every night, uh, game night. So it's just super fun to play at home. I know my teammates really love playing at home and it's just that 
home atmosphere you feel like right, I'm going to put on for my city and just play my heart out. So it's really fun.